The reason we started a small cap fund is to once again focus on small caps. In the early 1970s, Tom Putnam, our founder, really had a focus on smaller cap securities. As these securities grew over time, they became mid caps, but they were still attractive to us and we continue to hold those today. So with the launch of our small cap fund, we're able to refocus on the small and micro cap space, which is attractive to us for many different reasons. The reason we look at small caps is because over long periods of time, small caps have been one of the best performing asset classes. Our FAM small cap fund is using Fenimore's time-tested principles to target the small cap space. We feel that our small cap fund has several differentiating factors. One, we focus on the smaller end of small caps. The reason for this is that we find that there's less Wall Street analyst attention here and less institutional investor focus. For those reasons, we find more opportunities to find companies trading at a deep discount to their intrinsic value. Secondly, we focus on quality companies. We look for companies that are profitable. We're not interested in speculative startups. It may be a small company that has a high market share in a niche, or it may be a small company that's growing its market share in a large industry. We also want these companies to have strong balance sheets and capable management teams as well. The third factor that makes our fund unique is that we're a concentrated portfolio. We'll typically invest in 20 to 30 names at any given point in time. Essentially, we're stock pickers. We do our homework, and when we have conviction, we want the names to have a meaningful impact on the portfolio. We believe that if we follow this disciplined strategy, that over long periods of time, we can see both attractive relative and absolute returns. Our four criteria for companies is number one, we look for companies that are profitable and preferably companies that are generating free cash flow and have high returns on invested capital. Number two, we're looking for companies that have strong balance sheets. Number three, we're looking for capable, honest management teams and good capital allocators that can wisely redeploy that free cash flow. Number four, we want those first three things and we want to invest in these companies at a discount to their intrinsic value as well.